Okay, so today I need to carry on with expanding the render graph. So right now I'm doing everything after the point where I'm rendering the 3D object. So that means resolve or blit. It's there, the UI, the exported back out, and the presentation's back out here. Okay. So I need to complete this bit. Probably, and this. So, yeah, I just need to do this, this section, whatever's inside this uh, yellow pair of brackets. Once that's done, then I can work on the XR, which will be a very similar affair. Um, I've got the bit of a weird thing in that here. I've got a whole bunch of... I need to be able to make it uh, compatible for multiple windows as well. Because right now it's just not at all. Okay, so this part first. I need a new job in the render graph. Now, what am I going to be bringing to export? Um, mm -hmm. When I acquire acquire the render target. Okay, uh, down here somewhere. I'm putting in importing images, the rendered image and the presentation image. I need to also import uh, right now the depth resource. Under target uh, image resource, color resource. We'll put that in there. Okay, hold on. Do this. Get out of here. Please. Okay, this. Yeah. Goes here. Here, here, and here. Covers those ones, and I want to do the same thing for a depth image. These are all imported for now. Nothing's actually being handled by the system yet. Import image job. So much the same thing. We've got a rent we're putting into the render graph. Doing that. There's no fence to go along with this. There's the How's this work? The index? How do I get... Can I not get the depth buffer, the, the, the uh, depth image back out? I don't think I can. See, this is this render target is a bad idea. It may as well just been entirely a struct for all that, all the good that it's doing. Okay, okay. Because this image, getting the render target image, is going to get this, it's going to get the P render target images, indices, index zero. What is the offset?
I don't even remember. It's great, 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 great. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just always pulling out the uh, color image. <sighs> All right, then. That, that. Um, it's not that, it's... What is the depth buffer image I create this thing? Um, I create this somewhere else. Render target, no. <clears throat> it's probably tied to window, isn't it? Perform window maintenance. Da -da 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 -da. Create render target. Okay, off screen specs. Here we go. Depth format, which is whatever I give to this, which is what? Which is that, which is... <laughs> that, what, is this just a generic thing I'm carrying around with me? Depth, yeah, yeah, I do, okay. So, that, 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 that format, great. Uh, image layout is what? At the start of this, it's basically just nothing, right? It's undefined. Great. It is mutable, it's true. This should also technically be true. Any white semaphores? I don't think so. Do I not have formatting? Turn that back on. Actually, let's increase the size of everything again. Okay. That's going to be what I'm bringing in. And that's going to be going like up here somewhere. Okay, what's that? Each, all the windows are being put into one single large command buffer right now. So let's kind of not do this. We're just going to focus on having one. So do I have render graph, resolve image, blah, 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 blah. Call it render scene for the moment. of this okay that brings that stuff in okay good so then what we're going to have we're going to have Oh, 
pulled under target. Depth render target. Do, 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 do. Not quite. There we go. We'll have the um, initial layout. These are not going to be final, but for the moment I need some, I need more information than I have available. Again. Oh, come on, IO Mage. Wow, I cannot type tonight. That, 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 that. And is there anything else I really have? For the moment, I don't. <sighs> yeah, there will be other things, but I don't really know what quite yet. So it's going to be... Render scene job. Great. Magic. Okay. So how is this going to work? Okay, first of all, I need this stuff. It's not an output job, per se. That. So we have two output targets, not one. Okay, that's going to be interesting. P job. Okay, then I'd have in the graph dot jobs dot in place back the job. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't roll with that. What's going to happen is it's going to be there's going to be like a struct of some sort goes along with this Okay, and what we're going to 
do is we're going to have this. Something like that. Okay. So it becomes... I don't actually have any error codes to throw out quite yet. I will, but not yet. So many things I'm kind of putting up into the air saying, I will do something one day, I swear. Right. So to begin with, render target stuff. This is going to be dynamic based on the stuff I'm grabbing in. So, what's this? Okay, yeah. This basically becomes a copy paste of this. Just about. So, okay. I don't have MSAA quite yet. I'll have to pass it in for the moment. Uh, this becomes this instead. That and that. It becomes. No, 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 no. I should have... This should be available from... Whoop. I can grab this from the resource. So P. Color. Render target. Da, da, format. Okay. Is initial color layout. This is from a graphic session, so I need some render pass pool, or as it has to come from. No, this one. 
Okay, I need both. Okay. So we've got the render uh the render pass out. So I just have to for the moment the job clears the images. Uh like what else would I be doing? I'd have to create a frame buffer that would have then have to discard afterwards. I'm just not a... F I don't like the idea of having to c keep creating, destroying resources every frame. But if I want to keep like a good semblance of... Flexibility, I'm kind of, I, I'm kind of forced to. It may, it's probably just better to be like super inefficient and then optimize it as I get a clearer picture of how everything fits together again. Because that's kind of what I did and I, I kind of try to do, I tried to, sim, I tried to economize, optim, optimize too early and I ended up with the render target, which is not really a useful abstraction. Not here. Not for what I want to do. It was only useful in the in the context of the application, like having it hard coded here. Okay, uh, UI pass should actually have something for creating and destroying a frame buffer. There you are. Put it in there. Okay. I need two attachments, don't I? Wherever I create, it'll be back in the window again, wouldn't it? All right. Would be part of. Frame buffers are in here somewhere, and here they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number attachments and that, okay. That and that. and then I'd have to have some kind of I need two views
what is it? VK or something code. That'll fix that. We have the destruction of the frame buffer uh, for a couple time, a couple goes afterwards. Okay. Okay, we have the frame buffer. We're back to here. So we need to create start the render pass. Oh, no, no, no. I need to actually get command buffer. Start command buffer. Okay. This stuff. Create command pool, command buffer, start command buffer. Okay, we're now back to here. We now need to begin the render pass. Begin, right? Yeah. Great, uh, which I can get from about here. Don't need to be anywhere else. Great. This doesn't return anything. Contents are inline. Great. stuff and then I need to end it so this returns nothing because it's the end of the command buffer that counts to go through the submission stuff. So that, 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 job submission at the end, that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now I just need to figure out the render stuff part. So I need a few items. I need the camera pool. I need the camera pool. Okay. I need a few items. I need the camera pool. For the moment, I need the render state pool.
Okay, simulation set. So I need to have oh, passing the whole thing. Okay, let's make a copy paste of this into here for the moment. I'll try to bring it back out of here later. Okay, I already need whatever this function is. Get component pool, okay. That brings whatever this is, I'm not sure yet. So I come on down to here. I don't need these two if I'm bringing them in from this. Here. Okay, camera. Yeah, okay, just get the camera pool. Find whatever. We're dealing with one camera for the moment. Just okay, fine. Items. This will be the P color that, not that, it'll be like what sample. Sorting this stuff out. Uh, what's it's been a been a while. Uh, okay. I need to get the resource pool type.
material O. Okay, I need the vertex descriptor itself. I basically uh, need the actual items themselves. Mesh, probably the same thing with material. There we go. That just leaves. I'm not sure where that's from. Graphics VK mesh. That just leaves this, which is that, and then I need to get something like pipeline pool from graphics VK. That should, like, once this is done, I can get a number of things out of the main application as well, which will be generally a good thing. Okay, so this should, in theory, work functionally the same as anything else, as the, uh, what's already an application. This, this, this. Now, fences, if there's a fence, okay, hmm. Okay, I need a quick drink, BRB. Okay, um, back. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, I got all the includes. They're all together now. I'm hoping. Oh, sorry, wrong side. Yes, it's all here. It all, to my mind, should work. So, what am I going to do? I am going to go to the application all the way down here now the way this works would be that it's going to it's going to clear out anything i do here anyway so i can just actually try to run it right here and see what happens i think so let's just let's just try it let's try it see what happens watch your dreams crumble Graph under scene, bring it down here. We got those things. We're going to uh, render scene job. We're going to have render graph. We don't have a fence. Have the render target color image resource depth image resource. Okay, look at that. So this is like MAA global MSAA. Okay, all that's broken. 
Restart to get Clang D back. There we go. Okay, uh, the initial and final layout. Will be around up here. Okay, layout undefined, correct? And it'll be transfer source optimal. Okay, this is also being brought in as undefined. Like that one as well. back into themselves and they carry on okay um right this will also be part of that yes okay fast build Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not building the new file at all, am I? No, I'm not. So let's do that. Wonderful. Okay. Ah, how bad is it? Well, give me the bad news talk. How unrunnable is this? This is, well, I mean, it's not as bad as I was expecting it, but hey, didn't crash. So, let's do it once, yeah? So what's happening is probably it's going to go to about this point, and then it's going to come up with a bunch of, bunch of errors that I've got to figure out. Now it's probably going to be do, dealing with the fact that I'm mismatching the image layout stuff, right? Yeah. VK create frame buffer. Um, <clears throat> in here. Okay, I got the two views. Render pass. I'm not passing. Render pass equals that. That and that. Depth render target format. Okay. The color format. Yes. Render target samples. Do 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 do. Initial final depth color. Yes. Okay. So this is this. This should be the same. Did I not pass in the correct format? Okay. We go until this point, great. Okay, we have this. Uh, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are correct. 
So the render pass I got back should have number zero, u norm, number one, that. I'm passing in the ran the wrong image. Ah, oh, the wrong for the um wrong image and image view. Depth. Blah, 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 blah. Indices, index. Unless index is... No. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. No, I should be... No, I should be able to do this, right? One. And one. That... No, I should be able to grab these correctly. I'm just an idiot. Right? Yeah, okay, carry on. Great. Next. Okay. Ugh. Okay, pink. That's 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 better. We're closer. Uh, dynamic scissor. Oh, I don't have the scissor and stuff. These guys. Render off screen, render to image. <clears throat> Frame buffer, blah, blah, blah. It has to be within after the big. P color, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, yes. I don't have a depth bias thing to go quite yet. Okay. We're back on. We do have some MSIA going on. That should mean if I trash this, down to about here, this should work just fine. Not quite. Okay, um, not sure. Uh, waiting on a 7.4, that's never set, that's correct, that's great, that's terrible actually. I'm waiting on th this, image read 7.4 is right. This should. This is waiting on nothing. There's nothing to wait on here anymore. The only thing I need to wait on is the image ready semaphore. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I got. Whoop. So this thing, what's going on here? Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? Attachment zero. It okay, do I have I must be doing something somewhere in here. This acquire next render target. I'm not doing this, which I should be doing. In here. Right, window 
that Okay. So that means I can actually scrap this. Okay. Uh, I'm still not saving that much compared to what it was originally, correct? Let's add these. So it's from, I'm definitely not saving overall code, right? Because there's way more boilerplate inside each, each of the jobs right now. But I am down maybe 280 odd lines. That's actually pretty okay. Plus I'm about to lose a whole bunch with this XR stuff that I am going to do today. I have time. In a, well, maybe. Depends on if I can actually figure out what I need to do. So, I have a different setup stuff. Acquired frame. Actually, big thing. How do, how do I synchronize this end frame end information? I'm really not entirely sure. Like, I don't, like, I'm submitting a command buffer. I don't have any pre, I don't have any synchronization going on whatsoever. I'm just submitting it. And then I'm hoping, like, there's no, there's nothing tying this, the, like, the, the submission of the buffer to so is it on a per buffer per i or what should render blah 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 blah, blah. okay per view this i render code i'm actually submitting buffers and stuff on a per view basis okay okay not what I was thinking. And then at the end, I'm releasing the swap chain image. But again, there's no synchronization between this completing this job this this vulcan rendering completing and me releasing the swap chain image this is this is bothering me like surely there is something that i'm supposed to be doing here to, to make sure i'm not accidentally like running an image releasing the image before it's uh, ready <clears throat> So let me get XR swap chain image. Throw that in here. Whoop. Okay. I acquire the swap chain image. Uh huh. Okay, when I acquire. Do I have any synchronization or that just means the image is ready right now? Oh, no, no. I acquire the image, then I have to wait on the image. So that's how the synchronization works for that. Okay. That, 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 makes, enough, that makes some sense. Acquires image corresponding to the index position in the array. Return. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. Let's go to this. 
Once an application is done submitting commands that reference the swap chain image, the application must release the swap chain image. Will implicitly release the oldest swap chain image has been acquired. Okay, swap chain image must have been successfully waited on before it is released, but that's the wait after the acquire. Right? Or, hold on. XR end frame will use the most recently swap chain image. Each frame, note that in case the swap chain image is, contains 2D image arrays, is defined as such. Okay. So this is page 151. I want to go to page 155, which is actually 150. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, is there a specification for like Vulcan release, XR release. Like the no, XR release. There's like an example somewhere that I kind of based my thing on in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Uh, example. Do, do, do. Like this, kind of. Not quite. Um, yeah, no, this is session information. Rendering. Come on. XR wait frame throws the application frame loop in order to synchronize application frame. Returns a predicted display time for the next time that the runtime predicts that it will be done. So what? No, it's timeout. Yeah, wait frame. No, XR wait frame would have been. Okay, views, process cameras, blah, 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 blah. The swap chain image. I would have done the XR wait frame up here, yeah, to see like if I'm even going to render an XR frame this this run through. So no, this is not what I'm looking for. There must be okay. This is not with the extensions, right? This is just a specification. Let me try to find, okay, let me pause this and let me try to find an actual uh, thing of this, the extensions. Okay, this looks like it. It's the version 120. It's supposed to have a bunch more things down here somewhere. Okay, yeah, this has got all the extensions. Um, I 
Microsoft stuff, Valve, Provisional. Okay, uh, I kind of had something that Epic's got one. Interesting. Vulcan enable, swap chain usage. Put the attachment bit, okay. Maybe used as an input attachment. Okay. It's not really interesting. Vulcan enable, that just I already use this one for Yeah, I'm already doing this. I'm already binding it. Uh, XR all functions where the X, open XR runtime may access the VK. Okay, hold on. So, when I enable Vulkan, this is already doing some fancy work, perhaps? Okay, hold on. We're an application session. Okay, do I even do this? XR, I'm supposed to make sure that it comes out as... Okay, let me find a render pass. Mm. Okay, now I'm doing this stuff, great. And then I need to change it from this to that, to color attachment optimal. Or depth stencil attachment optimal. Okay, so I'm already doing that. I'm doing that correctly. Whew. Must be owned by the VKQ specified in that. Okay. So what must be happening is it's an attachment optimal. So when I'm calling the XR release swap chain, it's actually it's actually submitting some Vulkan commands of its own using the Vulcan stuff I, I gave it earlier in the XR. See, this is the thing I never quite understood. When I created the XR session with the Vulcan stuff, I gave it the instance, the physical device, the device, and the queue. Yeah, the queue stuff that it's going that it that it then decides to use right here. So what's so then it's like must be doing some image uh, buffers of its own to make sure things don't go awry and leave incorrectly. Okay, so I don't act. So okay, okay. It these guys are smarter than me. Of course, of course. That does mean that whenever I'm calling XR things, I need to make sure that I have exclusive use of the Vulcan queue at that time. The, the one I pass in, the, the Q0 of family index zero, whatever. So I have to basically wrap these calls myself. Mm-hmm. Okay.
Okay. The render target I have. Render target is XR off screen. Render target. I create the. I just. No, I don't actually create. I just create a new render target. Okay, I create a new render target for each view. It is what? Off screen specs. It's that, which is a color attachment and transfer source. Why? Why is it a transfer source? This would be a transfer destination. That would make sense. I don't even have uh, XR set up. Let me actually pause and get that set up so I can actually test what I'm doing here. BRB. Okay, that should be it. Let's bring over the VR view. This, well, I'll leave this here. Um, okay. Put this up. Now, I know the VR view on the uh, desktop is all corrupted and all, but in the actual headset, it's it looks fine. So, whatever. Let's see if I can actually run this. I enabled it, right? Yeah, enabled XR. Go, go, go. So, that's that. And in the VR view should be, so this is these things. It looks right on the headset. Yes, it does. Does it even, does it even have, oh, it looks like it has MSAA going as well. So that's great. You can see some of the chaperone perhaps going around or, yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. So that's good. Uh, let's put that back so I can tell whoa validation stuff VK command blit image for optimal performance is that is this my blit is that this the blit I'm doing or what no it can't I'm not doing a blit I'm doing the I'm doing a resolve right so it'll be a blit from inside, right? Yeah. So it's somewhere else. Is it you? No. It's probably this, right? No, not quite. And now I'm in this. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure where this is coming from. But it's going to have to deal, uh, wait a little bit. Now, another thing I want to test, actually, before I carry on, is this. Where it like, automatically turns on and off XR every 12 seconds. Let's do it 10 seconds, shall we? Make sure that works. So I can auto recover. Move the headset around a little bit. Yeah. And I got the right view going on. Yes, I do. Lovely. I'll just nah, I'll leave that there on the other window screen. Okay, it turns off. That's great. It's back to Steam VR proper. Okay, so this is some other stuff. That's great. And then it turns on again. And then it crashes. Okay. Not great. So that doesn't really work yet. Okay, whatever. 
I'll have to fix that again later. But for the moment, I can at least test uh, this stuff down here somewhere. This stuff. Transferring this into a render. Uh, couple of render things. Okay. Now on the first queue. So I need the three image, I need the render target stuff, which is, let me see if I can grab, how do I acquire the render, okay, the render target, this is the render target I'm looking for, mm -hmm. and that's the view I got, okay, so I'll just kind of do that down here, actually I'll kind of do it up here, at the beginning, before I do this other Stuff. Oh, maybe not quite. I need to at least wait for the swap chain image stuff. Okay, I'll do it here. We'll do one each for the moment. So I need the Pull in the color, the depth, much like down here. Can I just grab this? Format is the what? Must have it somewhere. Um. So begin the command buffer. This, this. Get the render pass. I, I just already have the render pass from somewhere else. Okay, not helpful. I need to get this uh, exported out of here then, somehow. Application, HPP, we'll just kind of have a little thing saying, hey, it's a VK format. Oh no, I can get the format. Oh, I can get the format from the XR view as well. Never mind. Never never mind. IT format. Okay. And then do I have the extent with me?
it's this. Okay. Okay. Why can I not use this here? Can I be narrowed from type int 32 to, okay. Is this the... Okay, it's just taking a while. So you got the render target color. We'll do kind of the same thing going on here. It's that. It's that. Have this. Undefined, undefined. That's good. Is it the same depth format? Yeah. Using the same depth format everywhere. Okay, and I need to bring in one more, which is the this one. It is available down here somewhere. Do I not have the view? I must have the view somewhere, right? <sighs> no, I don't. So it's a new index. It's just that, right? It's a vector of those. This is a vector of those. Okay, that's why. So that's workable. Okay. We need the format. The extent again. layout that it comes in which is assumed to be I'm assuming it's undefined but according to the XR spec that I read earlier it should be assumed to be something else shouldn't it The 
The OpenXR runtime must guarantee the image is compatible with this for color images and that. Okay, so I, I, I know it's going to be... I should just be able to find it down here somewhere. It's going to be that. It should be that. True. And there's no weight semaphores for it. Okay. Under scene. All this stuff, it's the same. Except I'm assuming that this is actually that. Actually, no, that's undefined. That's, yeah, that's correct. Then I'm in, I already have the present image. I need this. To do the resolve or blit. Yeah, I need to change that as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is different because I'm expecting this to be the other thing instead. It's supposed to be, may not be, who knows. There's no UI, then I export the image back out. Which is not that, it's this. This is spat back out. This is the input. And then I'm exporting it back out. Um, I don't have a post graph. I don't even have anything actually for it to come back out to, and it's expected to be what transfer destination optimal. I don't know where's the transfer destination. No well, transfer destination. Blah blah blah. Then we comes out color attachment, yeah. And that's what it comes out to here as well. And then I execute the graph. And then, then I watch it fail in real time. Okay, next our view. Just kind of put nuzzle it there. Ah, let's see how bad this is. Okay, uh, not great. The camera is all screwy. Uh, I'm using the wrong camera I'd input for sure. Information, but it's kind of there. I got things going wrong with fences and stuff, looks like. Uh, right. Okay, 
the VK viewport is that that bad? Camera. I'm giving it a different camera somewhere, I'm sure of it. ID camera descriptor. Hmm. I need to change up how I'm giving the camera information in. I need, I'm passing in a VK descriptor set. Render scene. Let's change that up. Because that's what... Camera descriptor, yeah. here back down here render scene job kind of do this and this and pass the disc camera descriptor in like this That removes these two for the moment. That just leaves the camera descriptor. It changes this. Which allows me to then reuse this up here using the each individual camera descriptor. OK. Passing through a bit of information. I'll figure it out later. Let's see, is it rendering in VR? Yes, it's rendering perfectly fine in VR again. Okay, lovely. I mean, I've, I've got more errors, that's for sure. But hey, it's almost there. That's still broken, that's great. So now this whole thing's down to 1500, so that's like 400 odd lines of code down here. Much more reusable though, much smaller. So it's 400 lines or 800 lines down to like Basic two, three hundred. Yeah. Not good enough. VK fence is already in use by another object. Really? Am I passing in a fence I'm not supposed to be? Oh yeah, yeah, this one. Okay, so now we're just down to that one again. VR is looking correct until it crashes, apparently. For some reason, there's a bunch of things that haven't been destroyed. But the 
Next our wait frame would have blocked skipping frame instead. Okay. Just kind of. Yay, look at it. You can see from this, like, it's just going way over what it should have been ever. It's going to crash. Well, it's not crashing. It's just kind of exiting with no stay. Okay, what if I really start moving things around? It actually gets a uh, faster for some reason. It's fa it's rendering better when I'm moving it around. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. I guess I'll call it good there. I have it rendering in XR as well. Or XR is now using the renderer as well. So at this point, with the basics and everything kind of there, I gotta do some. I gotta think now that I have a good, complete implementation. Not a good, uh, nor complete, but I have a, f a. I have enough information to be able to, enough context to create something better, to start refining it. Probably starting with like kind of integrating like the, the present job into this as well as the XR really swap chain stuff into the render graph. But that's that's for next time. So until then, cheers.